Hi everyone, I'm Lainey from Design by Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to run successful, efficient, profitable, creative businesses. A big part of running a profitable business is knowing where things are in your business, keeping track of all your client information, communications, uh, payments, contracts, questionnaires, all the info that you need to run your business successfully so that you are not wasting time looking for it in a million different places. You're not confusing your clients. And most of all, you're not making costly mistakes because you couldn't find certain information. So enter a client management or project management system like Dubsado. I've been using Dubsado for eight years in my business and I probably give up my right arm before I give up Dubsado because it is so important to the functioning of my business and prevents me from making so many mistakes. I've worked with a lot of different systems and Dubsado is one of my favorites, especially for creative businesses. So I'm going to walk you through all of that in this course and show you all the different capabilities. It might seem just a tad overwhelming at first, but I want to remind you that the most powerful things about Dubsado are the simplest things. Forms, questionnaires, contracts, invoices and payments, all of these things are just the tip of the iceberg, but they are so, so powerful on their own that I hope you'll dive into some of these simple concepts and then build on them with all the later videos in this course for some of the more complex things. All right, so what is Dubsado? It's kind of a funny word for a client management system or CMS. You might also hear client relationship manager or CRM. This means that you can manage all of your projects from here as well as client information, to-do lists, appointments, payments, payments, contracts, and so many other features. The real power is going to lie in putting all these different aspects together and making them work for you. So the first time you do everything is going to be the hardest. And I just encourage you to bear with me because it's all going to be so clear in the end how this work you've put in up front is going to basically change your entire business for the better. Towards the end, I'm going to give you a helpful download that will show you how to map out your process flow and then see how you can adapt it to all the different capabilities that Dubsado has. You absolutely do not have to be an invitation designer like me to take full advantage of this course. I'm going to show you my actual forms and questionnaires and things that I use with my clients every day, as well as showing you how to build those for yourself from scratch. If you haven't signed up for Dubsado yet, I hope you will. And I hope you'll use our link in the description of this video or our code designed by Lainey so you can get 30% off your first month or year with Dubsado. They also have a free trial that I urge you to use throughout this course. There's no time limit on it. It just works for three total projects. So you can start getting things set up and seeing how the system flows. And then once you're done with those three projects and you're ready to fully dive in, uh, you'll have everything already in the system and it will save you all of that setup time. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to screen share and start showing you how to get fully set up in Dubsado if this is your first time using it. I'm super excited. And I hope you'll join me for the duration of this course and watch all of the videos on this playlist. All right, here we are at devsauto.com. You will, of course, need to create a login and your password here to log in. If you're not quite ready to purchase yet, there is a three project free trial. Start for free. I love that this has no time limit. And then at the end of your trial or whenever you're ready, you can use Design by Laney to get 30% off your first month or year. Dubsado or Dubs, as I like to affectionately call it, has tons of great video tutorials. Their help center is really wonderful. And if you click down here at any point, you're going to get access to their help center, or you can send a message directly to the team, which they'll answer within a few hours. They are famous for wonderful customer service. And they also have a Facebook group where you can ask questions if you're not sure about something or wondering about how to set up a certain type of workflow. Before I dive in, I just want to talk about pricing because they have split it into two options in the last year or so. Um, we have the starter plan for $20 a month and the premier plan for $40 a month. And then the annual cost is $200 or $400 a year. Um, if you use my code Design by Laney or the link in the description, you can get 30% off these prices, either your first month or your first year. I do want to say that we're going to cover things on the premier plan. Like we are going to cover scheduling, workflows, public proposals. Uh, we're not going to cover specific integrations too much, but we'll cover most of these features. However, as I mentioned in the beginning, like the simple features 
are the most powerful in Dubsado. So I strongly believe that unless you really want to just like dive all in, you can start on the starter plan, get started, do almost everything that we're going to show you today, and then upgrade to the premier plan if you want to start using some of those more complex features. When you log in, you'll get to your dashboard, which is showing here. As you can see, if you're on the free trial, it says you have two clients remaining in your trial. I've created a demo account, so I'm not showing my clients information, but typically we would have a little bit more information here. Our financial goals would be more than zero, I hope. Um, this is how much you've made and collected so far this year. Open invoices is invoices that haven't been paid. And then your revenue indicator will show how you compare to the last 30 days. You'll see here your upcoming schedule. And on the bottom, we have a rolling financial report as well as any tasks that are on your to-do list on the right. Um, any major tasks like overdue invoices, contracts needing counter signatures, things needing approval are going to be in this recent section. So your dashboard is basically everything that's going on in your business. And and then let's get your account really set up so that it works. We're going to head over to your settings panel and there's a lot of different things here. I'll try to go through the most important ones. Um, so first is going to be your brand settings. So you can have a logo, you can change your color to match one of your brand colors. Let me just change this to one of my brand colors so that you'll be able to see anything that's red uh, will know was affected by that brand color. Um, you can include your emails and i like that you can change whether you're sending your email as your name or your business name so on my non-demo account this does say designed by laney here as the business um on my on the demo account i had to use my personal email so that's the only option here the dashboard settings allow you to change a couple of things nothing too crazy the portal section is a really cool feature in Dubsado. This is a place that you can enable your clients to log in and they'll be able to see all of their information, contracts, upcoming invoices, past payments, uh, any forms that you share with them, filling out questionnaires, proofs, just all kinds of things here. So I absolutely love this. And they have kind of an embed link where you can actually uh, kind of put like client login on the navigation of your website and it will allow them to log in directly to their Dubsado portal, making it appear as if Dubsado is just a native part of your website. If you decide to activate the portal for your clients, you can customize those settings here, including uh, different banners for different versions of the portal, your portal specific logo and colors. A lot of these settings are self-explanatory, but some ones that you want to pay attention to your users. If you do have uh, teammates or other employees, you can actually have three additional users for free. As soon as you have a paid account, you won't be able to do this on your free trial account. Um, and you can change their status and role here as well. And you can have a lot more users if you need them for, in my opinion, a fairly reasonable cost <laughs> compared to some other uh, platforms. In the payments and invoices section, you'll choose which payment processors you want to use. I'm linked to a Stripe account. Dubsado integrates with Stripe, Square, PayPal, and you can also do ACH transfers here as well. Uh, you can use Dubsado in any country as long as you can connect to one of their payment processors and they don't collect any additional fees, although each of these uh, does incur its own fees. There are also a few invoice settings here that you can change if you'd like to. You'll then want to go into the emails tab and set up your email. If you have Microsoft or Google, it's really easy to connect or you can do it manually with the SMTP settings from your provider. Dubsado integrates with a few different systems and you can connect those here. They have a few different video conferencing options, 8x8, Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and GoToMeeting. We also have QuickBooks, Xero, and Zapier. Domain names and custom app fields are a little bit more complex. We'll touch on a couple of those things later. And then of course you have all of your different account settings here as well. Now that you have everything set up, your account is good to go and we can start working with clients. I'm gonna click this projects button and see you in the next video.